Good morning. We're so glad you're here because you're gonna be a part of an historic occasion. This is a great day because we begin the journey for the brand new Virginia Minority Business Development Agency Business Center. And I'm Sharon Pender. I'm the proud operator of the Virginia MBDA Center and this. And I'm Tommy Marks, the director of the Virginia MBDA Business Center. And so we have a lot of activity as it relates to launching this center today. We're glad you're gonna be a part of it. Thank you for being a part of this journey. We're gonna check in with you as we go along. We hope you come see us. We're here in wonderful Alexandria, Virginia. And by the way, we have a satellite office in Richmond, Virginia. But we're gonna tell you about all of that and all the people involved. Stay tuned, stay with us. I guess we need to go. Yes, let's go outside and welcome, please. Okay. Welcome to the Virginia Minority Business Development Agency's Open House. It is my pleasure to introduce Sharon Pender, the President and CEO of the Capital Region Minority Supply Development Council. Sharon is no stranger to the Minority Business Development Agency's business center world. She has successfully led the operations of the MBDA Business Center Washington, D.C. and the MBDA Business Center, the Federal Procurement Center. The MBDA Business Center Washington, D.C. won five MBDA Century Club Awards in the three of the last four years. They service clients, their clients won over $540 million in contracts. They service more than 500 clients and created and retained over 4,000 jobs. The MBDA Federal Procurement Center, the only one of its kind in the United States dedicated to providing access to federal government contracts was recognized as an MBDA Century Club award-winning business center, which achieved over $20.3 billion in contracts, serviced over 1,300 clients, created 1,400 plus jobs, and retained 1,300 plus jobs. Finally, prior to her tenure as the president and CEO of the Capital Region Minority Supply Development Council, Sharon operated the first Baltimore MBDA Business Center in 2012. At that time, it was the first MBDA center whose operator was a municipality, the city of Baltimore. Sharon led the winning proposal efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Sharon Pender. Hello, I'm Sharon Pender, President and CEO of the Capital Region Minority Supply Development Council. And as of July 1st of this year, became the operator of the newly created Virginia MBDA Business Center, and so proud to be a part of this historic event today. We could not do this alone. I'd like to thank the, the team at the Capital Region Minority Supply Development Council, but more importantly, I'd also like to thank the team that we've been able to form for the Virginia MBDA Center, headed by Director Tommy Marks. I'd also like to thank the folks who made it happen for us in terms of our sponsors, our, more importantly, our board of directors, headed by Frank Kelly, as well as all of our corporate members and all of you who continue to provide the support that we need for the important work of the Capital Region Minority Supplier, Supplier Development Council. I also would really have to emphasize our partnerships um, that make this a robust offering for us, starting with the Carolina, Virginia Minority Supply Development Council, headed by CEO Dominique Milton and the chair of that board, John Connolly. But over the last five years, this is not our first rodeo. We call ourselves some MBDA groupies because I personally have been able to be the operator of the Baltimore MBDA Center, which was the first municipality um, MBDA center. And then we just came off a successful five-year stint of Capital Region Minority Supply Development Council operating the Federal Procurement Center as well as the MBDA DC Center. We are very proud that we've been entrusted to stand up the first of its kind in the Commonwealth, the Virginia Center. 
especially in the midst of this global pandemic, where there has been a greater need for support, resources, and opportunities for minority-owned businesses. We at CRMSDC are excited to continue to serve firms across the region as they navigate these unprecedented times. We continue our collaboration and partnership with the U.S. Department of Commerce, Minority Business Development Agency, now this amazing center located here in Alexandria, Virginia. We hope to work toward facilitating even more contract awards, relationship building, partnership opportunities that will continue to advance the work of minority businesses not only in Virginia, but across this country as well. We're a package deal. We have 22 other affiliates for the National Minority Supply Development Council, and then 45 other MBDA centers from across the country. And so, believe it, you me, this is just an abundance of resources for our citizens, um, and particularly our minority businesses in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I'd like to thank everyone for their unwavering support, and let's go, Virginia. I would now like to introduce you to Ying McGuire, the President and CEO of the National Minority Supply Development Council. When you meet her, you're immediately impressed with her vision, her experience, and her strategic approach and dealing with organizations. She brings over two successful decades of leadership experience across both profit and nonprofit sectors. While at Dell Technology, she drove the strategy and execution that nearly quadrupled Dell's diversity spend from 640 million to 3 billion, guess what? within three years. Subsequently, she joined an NMSDC certified minority business enterprise technology integration group as an executive leader and took the company global. Ms. McGuire has also delivered exceptional service in the civic sector as a nonprofit leader, economic empowerment board member, and policy advisor to government agencies. In 2016, the U.S. Secretary of Commerce appointed Ms. McGuire to the U.S. Investment Advisory Board. We are honored to have her join us in this monumental occasion. I bring you Ms. McGuire. Good morning, and thank you, Sharon. We're extremely proud of the value being delivered through the Capital Region Minority Supplier Development Council and the, the success you have garnered over the last five years while operating the MBDA Center in Washington, D.C. and the MBDA Federal Procurement Center. NMSDC was established in 1972 to close the economic wealth gap in communities of a color. As we embark upon our next 50 years, we must rely on the support and expertise of our regional councils and the private and the public partnerships to focus on driving the growth of MBEs. While we continue to embrace this historical moment in history, we applaud the alliances being built to support our corporate members while focusing on building stronger and a profitable minority businesses. As a national partner of the MBDA, we're able to leverage the expertise of the business consultants that will provide technical assistance and a business de development services to promote the growth and the global competitiveness of MBEs. The NMSDC network is known to blaze new trails, and this is another example. The Capital Region Minority Supply Development Council selected Alexandria, Virginia as the center's headquarters and it will also operate a satellite office in Richmond, Virginia. The satellite location is in partnership with the Carolina Virginia Minority Supplier Development Council. The center will service minority businesses across the region. This is historic because the Virginia MBDA Center is the first in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and it is a part of the 
network of 45 centers throughout the country, fostering the establishment and the growth of minority-owned businesses in America. What outstanding example of how together we can increase our reach and a commitment to serving MBEs. Sharon, we congratulate you on your many achievements and your commitment to intentionally grow opportunities for our MBEs. Hi, I'm Governor Ralph Northam. I wanna congratulate the Capital Region Minority Supplier Development Council on receiving a grant to establish and operate Virginia's first Minority Business Development Agency Center. In the past four years, we have worked hard to make Virginia a welcoming environment for all businesses and people. For the past two years, CNBC ranked Virginia as the best state for business, thanks in part to our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We want Virginia's minority-owned businesses to thrive and the new MBDA Center will be key to making that happen. I am so excited to see what this new center can do to help businesses succeed across our Commonwealth. Congratulations again on your achievement and thank you for the hard work you are doing for Virginians. My name is Bo Machayo. I'm the Regional Director for U.S. Senator Mark Warner. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't be here today, but we're so excited uh, to be a part of the Virginia Minority Business Development Agency Business Center's ribbon cutting here in Alexandria. Today, the Commonwealth joins a network of 45 MBDA centers across, around the country in supporting the establishment and growth of minority-owned businesses with a five-year, $2 million grant from the United States Department of Commerce and a partnership with the Carolina-Virginia Minority De Supplier Development Council to operate a satellite branch here and in Richmond. And I'm excited to see all that the Capital Region Minority Supplier Development Council will accomplish through this endeavor. Minority-owned businesses contribute so much to our economy and suffer disproportionately from the economic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's why this work from MBDA business centers do is so important, particularly at times like this. And Senator Warner is especially proud to work in the bipartisan infrastructure package uh, that would make MBDA permanent and enhancing its ability to run its flagship programs across the country and here in the Commonwealth. Thanks so much for all that joined here today and looking forward to this ribbon cutting later on. I'm delighted to be part of the opening of the first Virginia Minority Business Development Agency Center. It is so fantastic that it's located in Northern Virginia. The Northern Virginia economy has transformed over the last decade into a technology hub. A $2 million grant over the next five years from the U.S. Department of Commerce will fund this incredible resource. I've had the honor of working with Sharon Pender, President and CEO of the Capital Region Minority Supplier Development Council. Her passion and her team's drive to help minority businesses and work with corporations of all industries and of all sizes has earned them a reputation of being one of the best in the nation. Minority businesses are a huge part of the Northern Virginia economy. 42% of the establishments across the region are minority owned. The policymakers of Northern Virginia recognize the importance of reaching out to the small and minority businesses during the pandemic. In Northern Virginia, almost $90 million in loans and grants went out to almost 10,000 small businesses during the pandemic. In Fairfax alone, over $50 million went out to almost 5,000 small businesses. 72% recipients of this program were minority women and veteran owned businesses and they all had fewer than 50 employees. My office worked tirelessly to help small and minority businesses bridge the pandemic gap. For example, we presented dozens of webinars and seminars, and even one with Senator Warner on the access to capital for minority owned businesses. My office is proud to be a longtime strategic partner of the Capital Region Minority Supplier Development Council. The Alliance leverages the power of both organizations and extends the reach of services to minority businesses across the region. Now this center will foster the establishment and growth of even more minority owned businesses, provide resources and technical assistance to promote global competitiveness. These services will complement very well the services provided by the Commonwealth of Virginia and local counties and cities. This is the result of true leadership on the federal, state and local level. 
We appreciate the vision that has led to the establishment of this center and offer our congratulations and thanks, especially to Sharon Pender, CEO, Tommy Marks, Director of the Virginia Minority Business Development Agency, and Tracy Willey, who will serve as one of the center's business advisors. We look forward to working with your team to continue to build a diverse and inclusive economy in Northern Virginia. Good morning, my name is Dominique Milton, President and CEO of the Carolinas, Virginia Minority Supplier Development Council. CVMSDC.org serves ethnic minority businesses in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. And I am so excited today to support this historic partnership which will bring support to the growth of minority businesses in Virginia specifically. CVMSDC is pleased to partner with the Capital Region Minority Supplier Development Council under the leadership of President Sharon Pinder. Together, CVMSDC and CRMSDC bring a wealth of experience to the table. We will serve minority businesses in the Commonwealth of Virginia for the first ever MBDA Center in the state. The Virginia MBDA Center will be headquartered in Alexandria, Virginia, with a satellite office in Richmond, Virginia, to maximize our coverage of the state. I am really excited that Tracy Wiley will serve as a local Richmond MBDA consultant. She will be identifying corporate opportunities to support the growth of our minority business owners. So corporations, we need you to come to the table with opportunities. And business owners, we need you to come to the table to seek our assistance to help you to excel and grow. I look forward to seeing you at the Virginia MBDA Center. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tommy Marks. I'm the director of the Virginia Minority Business Development Agency's Business Center located in Alexandria, Virginia. Hi, I'm Tracy Wiley business consultant with the Business Center. In my former job, I was the director of the Federal Procurement Center, which is also an MBA, MBDA business center. And in that center, um, we were able to work with businesses over a five-year period uh, that uh, acquired over $20 billion worth of federal contracts, mm -hmm. created over 2,700 jobs, and serviced over 1,300 clients. And so what we bring to the table is business consultation, helping them understand, in that case, you know, the federal uh, landscape. In our case with the Virginia Business Center, we cover local, state, county, private industry, commercial, and the federal government. And so what we look to do is help them understand the landscape. Uh, and those that are already in the landscape, just to add and enhance their ability in order to acquire work through contracts. Yeah, I think there's also opportunities, um, as uh, Tommy mentioned, his former life and my former life as um, state director for Virginia, uh, we had opportunities to see businesses that worked in the state, um, contracting opportunities, but also um, with our partnership with Virginia Department of Transportation, our DBEs there, you know, which we're mostly familiar with federal contracts, had a chance to scale their businesses. So there are a number of programs that we can partner up with the center to be able to scale businesses as well and help with that growth potential. When you join the Virginia Minority Business Development Agency's Business Center, uh, what you get is a package deal. And that package deal brings to you the resources of 23 regional Minority Supply Development Councils mm -hmm. across the United States, along with 45 Minority Business De Development Agencies business centers that we work in concert with in order to help business, minority business enterprises grow and sustain their businesses. Uh, so though we are located in Alexandria and with a satellite office in Richmond, uh, we work with, with MBEs that are outside the state of Virginia uh, across the United States. And so if you're interested, uh, give us a call, let us know, because we cover local, state, commercial, private, and federal uh, portfolios. Looking at all the major industries that Virginia has, there's so many new opportunities that businesses can expect, um, but sometimes they don't know how to navigate uh, the terrain to get to them. So we're looking at ways in which to navigate those businesses uh, in a better way so they can seek those growth opportunities. Hey, the center's here to serve you. One, it doesn't cost you any money. It costs you your time to sit down and talk with us. And we do the best we can based on what we understand to be your business strategy and where you want to try to take your company. 
And whether that's a one, pay, one man or one woman company that's looking to grow because everybody's looking to grow and make that money, right? And uh, that's what we're here for. I think we have a lot of opportunity across the state, and I believe that you know, the center will lead the way in all that um, businesses uh, can expect from us. So it's a very exciting time. Now it's with great pleasure and pride that I introduce to you Miguel Estien, the Acting National Director of the U.S. Department of Commerce Minority Business Development Agency. His 20-year professional trajectory in business and financial services was shaped by his time at GE Capital, where he structured multi-billion dollar transactions and led general management efforts in the corporate lending space in roles such as managing director, leading the working capital lending business in Mexico, and head of strategy for GE's commercial finance division in Latin America. Following GE's decision to exit financial services as director of merger and acquisitions, he led the $2.4 billion divestiture and negotiation of the company's corporate jet financing business sold to Carlisle and Blackstone in 2016. Known as a disciplined leader, effective at handling complex issues, Miguel started his career at GE's rotational management program as he held assignments all over the world, including Tokyo, Budapest, Mexico City, and across the United States. He is a certified six-degree green belt manager. He holds a bachelor's degree in finance from the University of Puerto Rico, where he graduated magna cum laude an MBA from Kellogg School of Management, and a master's degree from Georgetown School of Foreign Service. Miguel, his wife, and two kids reside in Washington, D.C. Please, let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Miguel Essi. Greetings. I'm honored to join this grand opening of the first MBA Business Center in the Commonwealth of Virginia. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Miguel Estien. I'm the newly appointed Acting National Director of the MBDA, the Minority Business Development Agency. I'm also honored to share this, this day with Governor Northam, Senator Warner, Senator Kane, the Mayor of Richmond, and the Virginia Federal Delegation. And last but certainly not least, thank you to Sharon Pinder for your leadership of the center and project director of the Business Center, Tommy Marks. It is an honor to be here. I'm here for one reason, and one reason only, to welcome all of you to the MBDA family. And as such, the least I could do is to, to share some family secrets, which I would be happy to do. I have three secrets to share today. First, the MBDA remains the only federal agency charged we're promoting and supporting minority businesses. The agency is part of the Department of Commerce. Its national network of business centers, such as this one, is a flagship program of the agency, which now operates in 35 locations, 29 states, the District of Columbia, and my hometown of Puerto Rico. The agency also specialized, operates special, specialized centers in advanced manufacturing, export, and federal procurement. Our staff in our home office here in Washington, D.C. provide programmatic coordination, particularly in the areas of access to capital, procurement, and trade. Aside from the popularity of the Business Center program, and without a doubt, the most powerful tool that the agency has is the ability to collaborate with the community we are a part of. We partner with corporations, citizens, academia, non-for-profits, stakeholders in general, all with a common interest to advance the public, public, pu public policy interests of minority-owned businesses. Last month, for instance, we hosted MedWeek. That is our annual conference, full of panel discussions on matters like access to capital and procurement, and I encourage all of you to visit mbda.gov to experience the power of this community. 
Here is the second family secret. What we do here matters. Together, the MBDA and our business, operate, business center operators support over 9 million minority businesses. That is roughly a third of all small businesses in the US. These businesses provide over 8 million jobs and infuse nearly $2 trillion to our economy each year. It also matters because the backbone of this business community is getting stronger. Demographics are in our favor. The U.S. is expected to become a majority minority nation by 2045, according to some studies. And it matters because if we were to close the poverty gap that exists between businesses that are minority owned and those that are not, we could add close to $5 trillion of economic output to the U.S. economy. And that is according to a, a study that the MBDA commissioned. Finally, it matters because supporting and promoting minority businesses and entrepreneurs is a good investment. Money spent in the minority business community stays in the community, thus creating stability and opportunity. It is also good for the U.S. economy. It enhances our credibility as a nation because we should be all aspiring to make our economy work for everyone. And ultimately, it makes our democracy stronger. The third family secret. It's a very, very exciting time for all of us at the MBDA. President Biden announced his commitment to our community before he was sworn into office. On his very first day in office, the president signed an executive order directing the entire federal government to advance equity for underserved communities across our nation. In order to help our struggling businesses during the darkest moments of, our, of the pandemic, the administration revamped the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP, to provide greater access to small businesses, including those that are minority owned. The president also recently announced a new goal to increase the share of contracts awarded to small and disadvantaged businesses by 50% over five years. That is an ambitious and bold commitment. Today, the president's infrastructure legislation is under consideration by Congress. A key piece in this legislation includes the Minority Business Development Act of 2021. Let me put the importance of this legislation in perspective. The MBDA was formed by Executive Order 11625, signed in 1969 by President Nixon. Today, our continued existence rests on the whim of every president who takes the oath of office. However, with the passage of the Minority Business Development Act, the MBDA stands poised to become a creature of stature. Empowered with permanent agency status, the MBDA will enjoy a substantial enhancement of delivery capabilities with respect to every service provided. The law contemplates an undersecretary for the agency, a mandate to launch rural business centers, that's the authority to serve as the point agency within the federal government in matter concerning minority business enterprises, and a host of other consequential changes in the structure of the MBDA. These monumental changes at the MBDA will in turn open more doors, shatter glass walls and ceilings, and properly position the MBDA to play a major role in leveling the business playing field and ensuring that the American dream is not merely something we tell our sons and daughters to aspire to, but an achievement we celebrate with them on a daily basis. I open these remarks today welcoming you all to the MBDA family. And as I end, I will encourage this new business center in the great state of Virginia to quickly become ingrained in our community. Leverage the resources available to you through the MBDA. I suspect this center will be servicing many promising high growth company here in the greater Washington DC and Virginia area while addressing the needs of those entrepreneurs that are severely impacted during the COVID pandemic. 
and to all who have joined us today to celebrate the grand opening, let me say once again, welcome to the family. Through this center, we are all partners, and I hope that you will engage us and turn us when you need assistance. Take full advantage of the experience and expertise we have in helping companies grow. As Commerce Secretary Raimundo emphasized at the start of our annual MedWeek last month, the road to recovery runs through our minority business community. I look forward to working together and I thank you for inviting me to share in this celebration. Thank you. Tommy, thank you. I think the team has an outstanding job of making this an incredible day. I mean, I, I just can't believe all the things that have taken place, everybody who has wished us well as we continue on this journey with the brand new Virginia MBDA Center. So thank you for your leadership. Well, thank you. And it's definitely been a, a great occasion, and we look forward to serving our minority business uh, enterprises. And please take advantage of the resources and the contacts and the network that we have. We look forward to working with you. And what about that website? It is www.mbda-virginia.com. Let us hear from you. We are here to serve you. <laughs>